Welcome to Perfect Vocals Academy YouTube channel. If you want to learn audio engineering from top to bottom, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you know every single week when we release a new tutorial. Hey guys, so this next video is going to be about how to get bass guitar to sit in the mix. So I put together this, this groove with a, a pretty nice sounding bass guitar, but it's just got some some notes that stick out here and there and it just doesn't quite fit the mix so let's take a listen for a little bit it feels like there's no place for the kick drum and it feels like the bass guitar is just a little boomy so first of all, I want to I wanna see what's going on with the drums so I can know where we want the drums to poke through. So I got this PAS analyzer. So it looks like the kick is hitting at 64 and the snare is hitting at 197. Let's see uh, with the bass guitar where this stuff's hitting. Okay, so it looks like a lot of energy actually right at 64 so that's why the kick isn't cutting 155 is where like the body of it is so let's try a, a really narrow cut on the base at 64 really narrow Okay, still not feeling that drum yet. So let's turn down the bass some. Okay. Uh, let's make room for that snare drum at 197. Okay, so we really made room for these drums. Here's before. Here's after. So you can feel that snare pop through in the low end of the snare. The fatness of the snare is coming through. So next, I want that bass guitar to have a home too though. I don't want to just keep cutting, cutting, cutting. So that part that I found on the bass guitar.
I think it's, at, I guess, 152 is what it looks like. Let's make a spot for that. So let's go on to the drums now. Now I'm on the drums. 152, narrow cut. Yeah, the the bass guitar is kind of cutting through now. You can kind of hear the the picked notes. Um, you can hear the attack of the bass guitar now. Okay, that's sounding decent with the low end. Let's kind of focus on the mid range now. So, let's find an area in the bass guitar that we want to boost. Let's let's try around 720. I, I definitely feel like there's some stuff there that's nice in the bass. So let's try cutting that in the drums a little bit. It, boost it in the bass guitar a little bit. Okay, we're giving the bass guitar character now. Now, the cool thing about giving it character is this is what's going to make it translate through other speakers. If a bass guitar does not have character, or that mid-range, I should say, as soon as you play it on things like a cell phone or laptop or anything like that, it's going to be non-existent. You're not going to hear the low end that you work so hard on. So by making sure that the mid-range is right, it makes sure that your bass guitar is heard on other uh, systems. All right, let's hear without both EQs. Wow, it just sounds muddy, blurred. It sounds blurry. Here's with. Yep, they got more of a home now. Cut some more on the drums just to give it a little bit more room. Okay. Cool. Uh, just so the drums have a little more snap, I'm just going to add some, some high end. By adding high end on the drums it doesn't seem like it would help the bass but it does because when you add that high end to the drums all of a sudden it adds like this weird like separation between the drums and the bass guitar because the bass guitar doesn't have much high end so when you add the high end to the drums you know you have this bass guitar that just doesn't have much high end and then you have the drums that have this nice bright high end so it really separates the two so it just does something with the perception of our ears Here's without both EQs. Here's with. 
Here's without the drum EQ. Kind of muddy. Here's with. Nice. Add a little bit of high end on the drums way up there in the air. Let's give it some air. Okay, you can't tell me you can't hear that bass guitar really clear now because we've just added more separation um, between the drums and the bass. The bass is like this just kind of low end, low mid range. Uh, thing energy going on and then the drums are just this punchy like it has some mid-range but it has some even more like brightness to it and we kind of notched out homes for the bass guitar okay here's without yeah it sounds, it sounds like a pillow is on the speaker or something And that's and that's honestly just that's just doing processing on the drums and bass. You know, we have the synth and the guitar slash keys uh, going on, so you could honestly do some stuff there too. Let's make the bass guitar just a little bit less muddy. So I'm going to bring out the Waves F6. And the reason why I want to control this mud, it's probably between 200 and 400 hertz, is because that's that's where like this uh, guitar key thing um, is going to be. A lot of warmth is is in that area. So. We need that to come through. And by letting that come through and taking it out of the bass, it's making the bass like just less muddy while allowing this to cut through as well. So I'm going to pick a band. We can solo it. It's lower around two two something. Yeah, it kind of gets peaky in certain areas. So let's turn down this range a little bit. This is what's going to compress it. Once we dial the threshold, this range has to be back for it to dip it out. So check it out. See now, once there's like peaky spots in the in the mid range in the low mids, it's compressing it. it Tighten the attack a little bit. Okay, here's without. Just not as even in the low mids. This really smooths it out. Check it out in the mix. Let's listen without everything. Okay, then back on. Clarity, cool clarity. I think we could even dip out some of the low mids. So let's turn it down about one and a half dB. Wow, yeah, more space. Let's those drums pop. Alright guys, hope that helps. You can always 
dial in the bass guitar, you just always want to keep in mind the other things that's conflicting with it. That is the basic thing. Uh, if you just solo up the bass guitar and start mixing it, uh, it might sound good on its own, but in, in the context of the mix, it's not going to be as tight. So if you really want that tight bass guitar sound, you really have to analyze what's going on in the drums, see what's going on with the guitars, the synths, and just dial it in you know, accordingly. Thanks, guys. I will see you next week.